catch up with what's going on in markets and certainly how currency has reacted, particularly as far as that testimony you heard from Jerome Powell, the Fed chair, overnight. Lachlan Meekin joining us from Go Markets. Lachlan, very good to catch up with you on hey, this Thursday. Pretty ugly equity wise, isn't it today? Yes, a little bit of a sell off there. Um, I mean, there's been, I mean, the global risk sentiment's been very positive up till the last few days, but I mean, it's expected, I guess, to have a, a bit of a pullback on that. But um, we're seeing similar things in currencies, which we, when we last night's FIMC with Jerome Powell's comments, uh, I mean, the US dollar, they, they were kind of, I guess, seen as a, as a hawkish. Uh, pushback against the market um, pricing and cuts later this year. But the US dollar ended up coming off and testing that 102 level on the dollar index. It, it really seems that um, I guess the central banks are getting a, a, a limited, they have a limited effect on the currencies, I think, going forward. They, there was, that was certainly the, the driver um, up until a little while ago. But I think the hawkish repricing is fairly limited um, on, on, on the US and, and we'll talk about the UK as well. But mm. um, it's more that risk sentiment, I think, seeing it around it. And the US dollar, you see that, you know, that, you know steeply inverted yield curve, the, the 210 spread coming up to almost, uh, you know, 1%, uh, pushing, you know, that's quite supportive of the US dollar. But then you have this risk on narrative that seems to be uh, the low volatility, volatility and, and, and this global bullish feel, um, you know, despite a couple of days of a sell off in the equities, has, has really weighed on the US dollar. And I expect that will continue while volatility remains this low. And, I mean, seeing the VIX at a 13 handle, that kind of gives it away that the market is a little bit complacent about risk at the moment. So when we're looking at the US dollar, then what, what is going to move it from here on? Do you feel as though then, Lachlan, as you say, you know, um, given what we heard overnight from the, from the Fed chair, um, and really, I mean, bond yields didn't really move either off the back of that testimony. No, um, and rate expectations too, having a look at the Fed fund futures barely moved as well. I mean, um, there was no real surprises, was there? It was pretty much word for word what his presser was. I'm, I'm thinking the US dollar is going to struggle from here, mate, until, until we see a bit of volatility, a, a, bit of, a bit of fear back in the market. I mean, mm. when we look back at um, this, this inverted yield curve, you look back to March when it was last time it was this high, that 2 minus 10 spread. Um, the VIX at the time was 26, uh, the dollar index was 106, and now we see that same inversion level, but the dollar index at 102 and the VIX at 13. So the dollar is obviously benefits greatly from uh, volatility and from and some fear in the market. And, and, and other markets like gold as well breaking down, um, the Japanese yen really struggling. It's kind of showing those haven, havens are, are going to really struggle in this low volatility environment. All right, well then let's switch to what's going on in the UK. Goodness, um, that latest CPI read, inflation remaining so sticky. It is um, really uh, failing to budge despite the moves we're seeing in terms of interest rates. And of course, this is ahead of the Bank of England meeting tonight where, um, well, they've got to go again, haven't they? Yeah, I mean, it was a a bit of a horror figure, wasn't it? But um, I think one of the I guess the concerns for the Bank of England was the services part of it being um, very sticky, which is a, a less volatile component and will take longer to come down. Um, one silver lining, though, was the, the PPI came in a bit less than expected, which I guess you could see is almost a leading indicator for CPI down the track. Um, I mean, tonight, the market's fully pricing in a 25, a, a 50-50 of a, of a 50 basis points. But I think that weaker PPI will keep them to the 25. I, I think there's... Um, I mean, the, the market's pricing in a 6% terminal rate for them, I think it's probably a little bit high. I don't think they'll push back on that tonight. Um, but a 25, absolutely. I don't think it'll be a 50. I think they'll, they'll do a 25 with a slightly hawkish statement, um, probably another 25 in August. And I think the pound will probably sell off on that. Um, I mean, it's really struggling around these, these levels. It's had a very good run last few months. That 128 level on cable is been a, as like a step too far it seems for for, for to go any further so um yeah I, I think it'll be seen as, as slightly dovish the way the market's pricing we'll see a drop in the pound tonight all right okay well Lachlan let's then refocus locally then what we're seeing particularly the Aussie dollar uh with the release of those RBA minutes on Tuesday we did notice a a, a drop um uh, perhaps you know indicating the likelihood that um you know, the chance of interest rate hikes were less than they were maybe before those, those minutes. But nonetheless, markets still pretty much pricing and maybe we've got one or two to go there 
as well. And also, I guess, factoring in what's going on with the Aussie dollar of, of the policy movements in China at the same time. Yeah, the Aussie dollar uh, its had an amazing run in June. I mean, it's the best month we've had since November last year, and we've still got six days to go. Um, I mean, it busted through that 68 US cents level, uh, which was, was a very big resistance level for quite a while. So a, a technical pullback to that level where it's just holding on now, um, you know, it's pretty much par for the course. The, 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 I mean, it's taken a few hits. As you said, the RBA minutes have been quite dovish, saw next month's rate hike odds drop from 50 to around 30%. Um, iron ore's taken a little bit of a hit. There's a disappointment in, in the Chinese um, stimulus measures. So when you factor all those in, this kind of pullback from a, a really extreme overbought level where it was to 68 um, and holding there is, is pretty pretty, um, pretty bullish really for the uh, Aussie dollar. If, if I was an Aussie dollar bull, I'd take some, um, some comfort from that. I think that I th I'm thinking that we're going to see a weaker US dollar going forward too. So I wouldn't be surprised if, if we do hold that 68 and it forms a support and we see a, a bit of a leg higher in the Aussie, to be honest. All right. I mean, on that basis then, Lachlan, are you willing to sort of put a better where the, the Aussie may, may track uh, until the end of the year? I think we'll creep up, mate. While, while this low volatility um, risk on environment lasts, it'll be, it'll be US dollar negative. Um, saying that if that turns for any reason, you never know what will happen. But if that continues on, I'll, I'll, I can see the Aussie dollar creeping up to maybe the low 70s. I think that will be um, probably where it'll run into a bit of, a bit of resistance, big resistance. But uh, certainly I'm, I can see it drifting up over the next couple of months anyway.